I'm going to be a little It's a long story. When I was still with my grandfather and dad, it wasn't have enough money to afford my, my school fees because even I was in a younger in a, in a primary school. Then the problem is for at home, the people we are I'm using to stay with them at me home after my grandfather died. Then I was using I was in the village. Then I come in the city. When I come the city, I come to my aunt. Then my aunt tortured me like a prisoner. Then I start my own life and I say that I believe I can be my own. Then I can start using to work with those people who are usually to build. Some people they don't pay you when you build those builders construction is. They don't pay you, they don't give you the money. You, don't, you, can't, you can't afford the money to pay for the house rent. So living, cost of living is too high. So that's why people they decided to sleep on the verandas of the streets. That's why even may come like that. Then I, I involved with the guys. And I know, I try to know, to learn about the street life. So it was, my, it was a, a family affairs. As you can see, many people rushing home to find their beautiful, comfortable and warmer beds to spend the night. The street kids are meandering on the streets on how to spend the night as the flashlights and the street lights create a beautiful atmosphere for the street. The street kids are in the dark corners trying to find places where they can spend their night. My name is Tumukunde Brian. I'm looking for school fees. I look, I, I look, I will catch my wing scale and I start looking man for my school fees and what to eat on at home. My name is Sime Eric. I live at I live at Kasui. I stay with my mother. I study at Kasui Family Primary School. I come here with my wing skin. I want to get some money to buy some shoes and bag for school. It's almost midnight and everyone there is enjoying a good night's sleep. But right now, I'm also in someone's bed. These people, they use this place as their home, as their bed. They are living a miserable life. They lack shelter, they lack food, and they need parental love. But this is the kind of life they are living. Adi Nadia on today, Nadin Nadia Michalong and today, Kuluara in Yanja. Never let you know the Chiba. Nang and I want to appeal. Ah, Nanga, I hope send them on over. I do never. 
Nenyingira mu kibuga nenga nengura ke nguyi nenyingira mu kibuga Asoma nenko ma mpifo Timba njagala kunyambanga no bulwadde bwange bwinina wa kweska Obulwadde bumanyi Nenga tebutera kunkwata buli saa buli saa buli saa Tebunkwata Poze nane ne mubiri gwange na wogujja kama bwa Jja kama bwa Kati ye mama jali muuliza Mama ero rumu wanene wanene wandegeye mu mulago wanene wagurwe wa forumu ngenda yo as we are leaving right now, we are heading to the station and it's almost midnight. We are leaving on Yusuf Le Road and these people are sleeping empty stomach. I'm just offering a cup of tea to each of them and thanks for watching Record TV and keep watching Close to the Picture. This is the end of part two of the Close to the Picture episode. <laughs>